What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition, who knows? We'll probably finish it before the end of the year, who knows? Anywho, we have taken quite a few side quests in the last few episodes, maybe in the last week, I don't know, whenever this comes out, you guys let me know. But yes, we have taken quite a few side quests, and now it is finally time for us to go straight to the Pokemon League. Yes, it has been a while. There has just been one little change, and that is that, you know, I did... I did have... or I'm kind of forced to teach, uh... what was his name? Um, kind of forced to teach, uh... what was it? Torpedo, Surf, and Waterfall at the same time, because, well... You kind of need that over here, where we're going. So all you need to do now is actually go straight to New Bark Town and hold on the hold the phones right here. Make sure to get a repel because we don't need any of that mess. And go east. Yes, no east. And here we are in Route 27. And the moment you make a step right here, this guy is gonna be like, "Hey, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Poke Gear and see." Now it was kind of funny for me that when he said Kanto because it's like I'd never even heard of that name before back when I was a kid but he does have a good point go straight to your Poke Gear, and here you are in the Kanto region for me it was like why didn't they name this Kanto in the, in the first place I don't know I, I guess they, it was kind of like a spear of the moment kind of kind of thing but yes guys we are finally in Kanto and well there's quite a few things that we need to do right here that is you know Actually, check what's over here. I think we need. I think we need a special move for this one, but I'm gonna check anyways. And well, let's see. Oh, look at that! We found a Pokeball. Bam! Found ourselves a rare candy. Rare candy's always nice to have. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on back right here. So yes, guys, this whole episode is going to be us going to the Tojo Falls all the way to Victory Road. Because there's really not a lot at Victory Road. But here is the Tojo Falls, guys. And a few a few things that you need to be on the lookout. One being this place right here. Because you'll be able to find this item. And that is a Moonstone. Definitely something that, you know, can come in handy if you're trying to evolve a Pokemon through the Moonstone. The other thing, too, is you do need a Pokemon with, uh, with Waterfall. Which, that's what I have. Thankfully, there is a move deleter in this game that way it will be you know easier for me to just move or just to take off the move but look at that we're moving through everything's good bam okay so we make a step outside first is first we're gonna be switching up our pokemon right here because uh yeah i already know oh wait we already have the right pokemon what am i doing let's go let's go battle this girl okay it's rare to see anyone come here are you training on your own maybe okay so, it is finally time for us to battle this chick, and her name is Megan. She thinks she's awesome. Put on a down low. She's about to get... No, I'm not even going to say that, but here we go. Taking on Bulbasaur, and, well, there's quite a few things that we need to do, guys. Uh, first is first, we need to level up our Pokemon, and I mean level them up to at least level 45, if not one Pokemon to 50. Thankfully, I have the speed button to actually increase my Pokemon's uh, experience points right here. And uh, the other thing too, you know, thankfully there are Pokemon here, or Pokemon trainer, enough Pokemon trainers here to level us up just a little bit. So it won't be that hard, I hope. I kind of hope. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. And well, there it's super effective, and Venusaur is burnt. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fall asleep for a little bit, but Venusaur, you still burnt. Go right ahead. Try and do something to us. Let's go ahead and use a full heal just for this situation right here. And here comes the Body Slam. So this will be... Huh. <laughs> it looks like we didn't... Yo, yeah, oh, wow. Okay, time to eat this. Ember Attack. Maximum power. For the win. And there you go. Alrighty, okay. Look at that. And, uh, well, Hera grows to level 39. So we're making progress. Togepi grows to level 38. Didn't forget that Pokemon, and it's learning Double Edge. Okay, so this is uh, this could potentially be a good move. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Metronome. I'm, I'm already sick and tired of that move. And it's always bad luck for me. I don't know why, but it's just bad luck. So 
Here comes Ivysaur. Let's go steal with arrow right here. And, well, let's go with an ember attack. That wouldn't hurt. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there you go. Look at that. Ivysaur. Oh, wow. Nearly defeated this guy. And, well, we gotta be on the lookout for that. So, here we go. Ember attack for the win. And just like that, Ivysaur has been defeated. Could be, you know, you could have three Venusaurs, but you choose to have every single one of the Saurs. I don't get you. Oh, you're really strong. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go right here, talk to this lady, and she's going to be like, where, where are you off with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ha! Huh. Your Pokemon trusts you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for you uh, for your journey. And here we have the TM37. That happens to be Sandstorm, I believe. Yes. It's a move that inflicts damage on both battlers. It's for advanced trainers only. Use it if you dare. Good luck. Now, I... I do... I don't think that, you know, being a rock type, a ground type, or a steel type will... I don't think it has that same kind of effect in Generation 2, but, well, well you know... It's a nice move to actually have, so let's go right ahead and switch it up. Let's go with Torpedo. It's been a while since I've seen Torpedo. We've been capturing legendary Pokemon and all that crud. And here we go. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Cool Trainer Blake. And he is coming out with a Magnetite, so I probably screwed the pooch right there. In a sense that, you know... And like I said before, guys, I actually had to teach Torpedo Surf and Waterfall just to make it through here. I I wasn't intent, like I wasn't planning on. Oh well, yeah, I wasn't planning on like you know holding one Pokemon out of my team before you know going to the Pokemon League. Kind of wanted to have every single one of these Pokemon just get experience points. You know that stuff. And well, that wasn't very effective, but it made this guy faint. That's good. Togepi getting there and well coming out with a quagsire I got the perfect Pokemon for you hey Chico you ready time for the bad guy to win alrighty and uh, shout out to the homeboy that mentioned something about Razor Ramon Scott Hall may he rest in peace and yeah <laughs> what a good homage to this Pokemon right here and to the poke and to the person you know the wrestler the legend the bad guy and well look at that Chico has done it with, he's done it with his Razor Ramon Razor Leaf, and well, here comes a an execute. So let's go with Togepi right here. All right, Togepi. It's kind of like the legendary Pokemon. I don't like you, you don't like me, but guess what? We still have to work together to you know to win and all that crud. So here we go, fly attack, and that sleep powder is not gonna get me. So here we go again, fly attack for the win. And, oh wow, survived, and uh-oh. So it's about to use its Solar Beam attack right here. So let's go right ahead and fly up in the sky. Solar Beam has missed. Yes. And, oh crap, baskets. Oh, here we go again with another Solar Beam. You know what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fly again. All right, we're gonna keep on missing attacks. Look at that. Two Solar Beams that could've just destroyed my Togepi, but didn't. And there you go, execute. Has been defeated. Togepi gets more points. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm for like, I'm, I'm certain that by the end of this episode, this Pokemon will be at level 40. That should be good. And well, here we have some more Pokemon trainers. So while this is going on, battling everybody else, being awesome and all that crud, let's go right ahead and talk about certain events, certain stuff, you know plans ahead and all that crud. Okay, so, as many of you guys would already know, I have yet to show you guys my team from Pokemon Yellow here. I was actually going to do it before the Pokemon League, but I decided to wait until after we defeated the Pokemon League and, and we go into Kanto. That would be more appropriate. Now, going further on, when we go into Emerald version and all that stuff, yeah, that's gonna, like, we're gonna have the Pokemon right there, like, right after a few, I, I guess, like, a few, after a few, uh, badges and all that stuff. We're still gonna, you know, we're still gonna have our, our, our Pokemon there, it's just, 
I gotta be a little bit more mindful with the poke with like with, with the leveling and all that stuff. And well look at this. Oh, close to level 44. Togepi, you're kicking some butt right here. Okay, alrighty. So that's a cool trainer right there. And let's take on this guy. He's like, don't say a thing! Let me guess what you're thinking. Hmm. I got it. You're on the Pokemon League challenge. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, so here we go. Take it on Psychic Gilbert. Psychic Gilbert coming out with his Starmie. And, uh, well, I picked the right Pokemon. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, I will be coming out with my extra Pokemon later on into this walkthrough. There might be a change up here or there. There might be, you know, some Pokemon u being used for the final battle of this whole, this whole series. And that is against the Dreaded Red. And... Uh, well, let's see. I don't know. I don't know what else I have in, in store. Yeah, there's still legendary Pokemon that we still need to capture. And... Yeah, two more legendary Pokemon. And, uh, let's see. Well, we already got the event Pokemon out of the way. That was the last episode, I believe. We still need to do the whole Runes of Elf, that final part of it. Fortunately, we don't have the missing piece for it. I mean, we could go there right now, but I kind of want to get everything in one fell swoop. I don't want to continue making, like, extra episodes just because, you know. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Look at that. Togepi, level 39. Yes, it's about to be at level 40. I'm happy about that. And here comes a giraffe rig. Let's go with Serpentera. It's been a while. Now, speaking of it's been a while, as I am recording this whole episode right here, guys... We all know Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet has finally come out, and many of you guys have been telling me about it, how awesome it is and all that crud, and some of you guys have been asking me, when am I going to come out with a Pokemon Scarlet or Violet walkthrough? Is it going to be a mix of the both? No. Heck no. Because with some of the stuff that you guys have been telling me, yeah, I am only going to do one walkthrough because, uh, yeah. Too much on my plate. When that will come out, I do not... I really don't know, guys. Uh, kind of want to, like, you know... For me, like, for me right now, I kind of want to do, like... I kind of want to re-edit all these, uh, these walkers that I've had. Like, ma mainly the old school games. Like, you know, ye Yellow, Crystal, Emerald. Those games. Uh, other things that I have in mind. I still need to play Pokemon Arceus, or Arceus. I need to get... Like, I, I, need, I need to play that game in order to know what I'm getting into, because some of you guys are like, well, it's the first open world uh, game, main series game, and I've seen some walkthroughs, I've seen some stuff, and yeah, I really need to prepare for what's ahead, so I'm not, I'm not putting on, uh, I'm not putting in a timetable or nor anything like that, guys, I'm just letting you guys know. Yes, there will be a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet walkthrough, but I will only be doing one of the one of the games because, well, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, content on that, and I mean a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, god dang, that's a lot. Like, seriously, a lot. <laughs> and well, let's go ahead and switch this Pokemon right here, and let's go with Flavolt right here. Speaking of which, I'm getting a text message right here. Holy crud. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Eh. Let's see. I'm still getting a text message right now. And there we go. Okay. Maximum effort. And... Well, let's see. Here we go, Thunder Punch for the win. And just like that, Stormy has been defeated. Alrighty. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, yeah, those are those are in the works. I'm just gonna take my time with some of these brand new games because, well, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of games. A lot, a lot of games. And, well, let's see. Let's go right over here and take a look at something. Now there is a there is a whirlpool right there, so you won't be able to do anything. There is an item or a Pokemon trainer right there too. Don't 
think the item's gonna be... I don't think the item's pretty rare, but I'll go back and look for it afterwards. So there we go. We're using the Repel, and yeah, there's an item and a Pokemon trainer. I think it's a TM, I think. Solar Beam. Yeah. yeah I'll go back for it afterwards. So, here we are in Route 26, and we can always surf right here, but you guys know me. I am going to be battling. And let's go straight to Chico right here. Alrighty. Okay, so other games that, you know, I'm really looking forward to playing again and redoing. Well, I'm actually thinking of redoing some games. Some games that were left as unnarrated walkthroughs. Mainly because, you know, I've had so much fun doing them, I think I can do better at them. And, uh, let's see, I'm also thinking of... Shoot, probably putting a, a set schedule for some of these games. I don't know, it's yet to be seen, guys. I know, I'm thinking they're too far ahead. I have a lot, like, I, I really, really have a lot of energy just to play these games now that, I, like, my schedule's complete. And, seriously, come on, man. Alright, you know what, Body Slam. You have no effects. Bam. For the win. Hey, <laughs> Quillfish. Yes, like I said, guys, I have a lot of energy to play these games, so it's, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're going to... I hope, I hope we have fun. We're going to have a lot of fun, and I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> like I said, I sneezed. And, well, let's see. Let's go with Fluffbolt, since it is an Electric-type Pokemon. What other games should I play? It should be easy. I don't know. There are some games, too, that, you know, need to be finished up, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of that. Some games need to be finished. Some games I'm probably just going to put in the back burner and redo because... Well, what's the point? Seriously. And... It's not that I'm giving up. It's just certain things happen that, you know... Certain things happen that kind of just make it, like, pointless for me to just continue going on. If you guys know what I'm saying. And, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully with this kind of, like, with, with this kind of change, it would enable me to play these games, make them proper walkthroughs, and on top of that, play the newer games. That way I actually have, look at that, level 40. Yeah, I, I actually have a full understanding of them before I even come out with any walkthroughs, because trust me, I like to go, uh, like, I like to be a little too quick to the trigger when it comes to these brand new games, and it it always leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So, kind of, I kind of want to be prepared for all that stuff, guys. All right, so let's see. Well, let's go ahead and switch it to Hera. Let's go ahead and take this, the experience share, and let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and give the sharp beak to Togepi now that. We have that, and let's see, experience share. Give that to Torpedo. Mystic Water needs to take a back burner, like it needs to be in the back burner. And you know what, let's go ahead and give this rare candy to, let's see. Hmm, you know what, let me see, hold on just a sec. I always like to give it to the Pokemon that is, like, well, like, away from, uh, from gaining to the next level. Hera, let's see, Torpedo. Okay, so... You know what? Let's save it for a little bit later. I, I have a feeling I can get them both to level 40 by the end of this episode right here. So here we go. Wow, look at all those badges! I'm impressed! But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? No, not really. I kind of want to do more. But anywho... Let's go right ahead and take on Psychic Richard, and he is going to be coming out with his Espeon, so it's probably a good thing that, you know, it's probably a good thing that I didn't uh, switch out right here. So here we go, Faint Attack for the win, and look at that, Espeon, you almost, oh wow, I almost defeated this guy, so here comes a Swift Attack, that right there hits me pretty hard, so let's go again, Faint Attack for the win. And there we go, Espeon has been defeated. And, well, Torpedo gets some more points right there, too. So, it looks like to me Torpedo is going to be at level 40 before Hera. Or, I don't know, yeah. Let's see. No, actually, you know what? There is something right here, I think. Um, no, that is just a shortcut. 
And yeah, it's just a shortcut to Route 27 right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight back to the bridge. Anywho, another thing to talk about. Let's see. Uh, I know that. Like, let's see. Uh, some of you guys have. There was a bit, like, a bit of a, you know, you guys have received this game very well when it came to, like, the editing and all that stuff. And for me, it's more of, like, you know, that, that me, that to me is more satisfying than anything because, well, you know, it, it means that my hard work is paying off with all of you guys. You guys are enjoying the, the edits. If you guys have a little bit more suggestions on to what I can actually add to this walkthrough or into any other future walkthroughs, then just comment down below. Suggestions are uh, will be well received. So now, if you go in here and read this, there's something written here. Read it. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love, Monica. Keep reading. Yes, let's go ahead. So on Mondays, Monica will be at uh, Route 40. Tuesday, Tuskeny will be at Route 29. Wednesday, Wesley will be at the Lake of Rage. Thursday, Arthur will be at Route 36. Friday, Frida will be at Route 32. Saturday, Santos will be at Blackthorn City. And Sunday, Sunny will be at the Route 37. Huh, doesn't that sound familiar? Yeah, I guess I kind of did that a little early, but I did it for you guys' enjoyment. That way you guys know where to find these items. Because, yeah, they're going to be useful when you get to the Pokemon League. And, you know what, let's go right ahead and battle this girl first, because, you know, I always tend to take a lot more damage with her after I heal up, so let's go ahead and reverse our luck right here. So, anywho, guys, like I said, some of you guys, or a lot of you guys, you know, received this whole, you know, the, the change of, like, you know, adding a new intro and adding some, like, bits and pieces, including, uh, what was it called, uh... Uh, backgrounds to most of my walkthroughs. You guys have received it well, and I do appreciate you guys' good comments, likes, and all that stuff. Even to the haters, thank you guys for watching. I mean, at least you left me a view, gave me a little bit of a uh, insight of what you didn't like, and more uh, or more so or less fucks to give when it comes to just nitpicking and all that stuff. So yeah, there's good and there's bad, and well, let's see. Blastoise is coming out, so let's go right ahead and go with Chico. Let's go with the Chico right here. So yeah, guys, very good stuff. And I think there was another thing too, yeah. Something else that, you know, I, I take credit or I, I give credit to is uh, by writing down everything that I, I do now with the walkers. Um, a lot of this stuff, I just go head first and tend to forget what I do, I always, I always tend to uh, record most of these uh, these games in bulk, and I never ever ever write down what I did or anything like that in a lot. And now that I'm writing some of these things down, I'm leaving reminders, I'm leaving you know tidbits of stuff that you know, hey, you need to add this or that, you know, little things that you know are being added to these walkthroughs that you're now seeing. So I'm taking some pride in all that stuff. So yeah, taking a lot of pride. And, well, there you go, Chico, kicking butt. Look at that, Torpedo. Rose level 39, so... <laughs> it's a race to who's gonna be at level 40. No, I don't believe this. Well, that wasn't much emotion right there. Alright, let's see what this is all about. It's a fruit-bearing tree, ice berry, yes. And, well... Let's go right ahead and come over here. Talk to this lady. She will heal your Pokemon, so... It's a good place to go. And yes, our Pokemon are looking, yes, fantastic. Okay, so let's move on right here. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be going up against any more Pokemon, except for maybe right here. Seem to remember there was something right there that you guys could actually find. So let's go right ahead and uh, before battle that guy, let's just move on right here. Torpedo, how's it going? And there's nothing. Okay, so... Must have been smoking my weed or something. So let's go right here and talk to this guy. And yes, tough battles, gains, all that stuff. And well, here we go, taking on uh, Cool Trainer Gavin. And Cool Trainer Gavin is coming out with his victory bell. And I, I, okay, so I'm definitely like, you know, 
I am definitely on the right path right here. Now, let's see. I'm gonna take a look at something right here. What level does this Pokemon gain or get to uh, or get Flamethrower? I wanna I wanna be sure. That way I'm ready for the Pokemon League and all that stuff. Because after this episode, yeah, there's gonna be a nice speed battling and all that stuff. And most of my most of my uh, traded Pokemon, well, all my traded Pokemon are getting are gonna get levels easily. But it's the natural Pokemon that I have right here that you know I really need the work. So. Here we go, Kingler. Let's get it. Thunder Punch for the win. And, oh wow, that protects. Huh. Alrighty. Let's try it again. And it's protecting itself. Bulbasaur, come on. Or not Bulbasaur. Love Bolt. Let's get it. And Kingler has been defeated. How do you like me now? That's right, not that much. And Torpedo's gaining some levels easily right there without doing anything. So here comes a Flareon. Let's go to a Torpedo, Speedo Torpedo himself, and well, let's see, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Houndoom. Let's see, Houndoom, let's go with a Surf Attack right here, and let's see, what, I, what the hell? Yeah, I'm trying to write down how I'm doing while playing this game. Holy crud. Oh, there you go. And, yeah, look. <laughs> Holy crud. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so Torpedo, you are you're close. You are very, very close. Holy crud baskets. And, well, there you go. Alrighty, so who's next? Like Goldbrick said it, who's next? Oh, yeah, that guy. Alright, let's go. So, let's see, I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. Okay. Pokemon League is alright, but... You still have to face me, homeboy, so... Let's go. Taking on, uh, Forgot his name? To coming out with a Parasect. You know, funny, funny thing, guys? I've always wanted to try Parasect. But I've never had the courage to do so, because, well, it's Parasect. Bug-type Pokemon kind of bug me. And would you look at that... Okay, so I think I already know who, who's going to get the, the rare candy right here. But like I was saying, yeah, pair, like Bug-type Pokemon, yeah, it doesn't really, like, oh wow, it's learning agility? Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay. Well, yeah, you know what, let's go right ahead and not do that. Yeah, I've always wanted to use Parasect, but never had the, the courage to because of Bug-types and... Yeah, we all know Bug-type Pokemon, not my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, I think there's like... Like, out of all the walkthroughs, I think I've only used one Bug-type. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Let's see, that could potentially change... Yeah, that could potentially change going into... Let's see... Well, there is one Bug-type Pokemon that I really like, and that's in the Unova region. That's Venipede. But I don't think I've used a Bug-type Pokemon on my team before. I probably need to go look in the... Seriously, Jack? Yeah, it's me, Jack. I got a minute. Battle. Yeah, no. Yeah, I've, I've never really used a Bug-type Pokemon on my teams. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Comment down below. And... Well, let's see. I think we got one more trainer here. Yes, we got a trainer here. But before we go to her... So go ahead and grab this. And we found ourselves a Max Elixir. Now, all these Max Elixirs, Ethers, and all that stuff, I've been saving them up in the PC. They're stored in there, just in case. And, well, hopefully they will work once we get into the Pokemon League right here. What's up? I lost to, I lost to a trainer named Silver. He was really strong, but... I was as if he absolutely he has to, or he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. Hmm. You don't say. Okay, so let's get this. Taking on Cool Trainer Beth. And she is coming out with her Rabbit Ash right here. Look at this. It's a majestic looking Pokemon. Okay, level 36 Rabbit Ash. How's it going? Let's go. Rock Smash. And that really wasn't. Okay, so that didn't really hurt, but it lowers his defense. So we've accomplished something. And there we go. 
we're trapped in our in a, in, a, in, a, in a pit of fire right here. So let's go with the headbutt. There we go. Hopefully it flinches. And nope. And it flinched. Okay, it flinched. I'm okay with that. Alrighty. Time to use the faint attack. Because it's about to make it faint. So here we go. Faint attack. And it does make it faint. Yes, Hera grows to level 40. How's it going? Alrighty. Okay. Okay. So my Pokemon are strong AF. Pokemon are, or Pokemon aren't tools of war. Yeah, they're they're not. Okay, time to use that rare candy that I've been saying I've been saving up right here. Now I'm gonna give this to Hera because it only needed one more level to learn a very powerful move, and that is flamethrower. It's trying to learn flamethrower. Can't learn more than four moves. Yes, let's go right ahead and take away that ember attack. Yes. Now I was legit trying to. I was legit thinking of probably like teaching it through that move learner, but I was like, yeah, not going to do that. Now normally I would stop the game right here, but we all know going into the into the uh, Pokemon or what was it called again? The the Victory Road right here in Johto. It's easy, easy pickings. So go right here, and the attendant will be like, only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right through. Alrighty. Now, you, you see there's two exits right here. If you talk to the homeboy on the right, off to the Pokemon League are you. The Elite Four are strong as, uh, so strong and scary, they're ready for you. <laughs> talk to this guy. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out here. All out there. Yeah. Okay, so here we are in the Victory Road. And like I said, guys, this place is very, very easy to get past. Might as well just have a full-on episode, just so we don't have to waste anything right here. Uh, you do need strength, but not that much. There, There's only one trainer here, and you won't be seeing him until later on. And you probably do need to... To, to have a space in your bag because you will probably find a good item here and there. And look at that, we found ourselves a max revive. That's always nice to have. And, uh, well, let's see, what else is there? I don't know. I do not know. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Last order of business. Last order of business. Let's see. Yes, Pokemon Emerald is the next walkthrough that I'm, I'm actually going to redo. And, well, the repair of the repel has worn off. And it's going to be the same way as this one right here, where I'm going to be doing a boatload of episodes, and there's probably going to be a, a weekend or two where I'm going to be doing five episodes. That way we can get ahead of the curve and all that stuff for your guys' entertainment. And in that walkthrough, I am, I am planning on changing up the starter, so hopefully you guys don't pick Mudkip or anything like that. Or don't get mad because I didn't pick Mudkip. Um, yeah, I was I was pretty much actually, you know, in my head I was like I would I really wanted to play Pokemon Alpha Sapphire right there and then, but you know something told me that I needed to have a little bit more patience when it comes to these things because you know if I don't have any patience I like to rush through things. And before we go in there, let's go right ahead and check out or grab some items right here. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, I yeah, having some patience with the with the remake walkthroughs, including Pokemon uh, Alpha Zapfire. If I had to pick a remake, actually, there's nothing right here. Holy crud! Okay, if I had to pick a, a remake series that, that Pokemon did right, it has to be Pokemon Alpha Zapfire and Ruby, uh, and Omega Ruby. My favorite one is Omega Ruby, mainly because, well, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, Primal Kyogre, or Prim Primal Groudon, that, that Pokemon's a beast, but it is one of my favorite series just because it incorporated a lot of stuff, played it multiple times, and, I, you know, every single time I always have fun with it, and look at that, TM30, or 26, if you guys want to know what TM26 is, it's the almighty, the all-powerful Earthquake attack, and, yeah, who should I teach that to, let's see, hold on, Earthquake attack. And this one can go to Serpentera. Oh, okay. Alright, so we got something going right here. Alrighty. Okay, so that is one item. 
And there's the other item, which is the Max Potion. Okay, and before we do anything, uh, I'll be right back with you guys. I got a, I got something to do real quick. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Just a little bit of a phone call. People keep on calling me at my busiest. Okay, so let's see. Oh, there's one more item that I need to... Oh, okay, I see what it is. Okay. So yeah, there's one more item that we need to grab. So like I was saying, guys, yeah, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. Can't wait to play them again. Alpha Sapphire, that is what we're going to be playing next. Um, as a remake, including Fire Red. And we're getting a full restore here. Oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of redos, guys. So, before we end this episode, I kind of want to talk about that. So, let's see. Black glasses, escape rope. You know what? We don't really need escape ropes anymore, so let's just go ahead and toss these two. So, before we get done, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the redos that we've been doing. So, the, the redos that we're doing and we're going to be doing so far. So, as many of you guys already know, I have uh, been playing... I have, well, I came out with a boatload of walkthroughs during the, the COVID year, and during that time, I really felt like I didn't take, I didn't really take my time doing these walkthroughs like I did before. Um, as many of you guys already know, if I don't take my time with these games, I don't feel satisfied, and you probably see another walkthrough, and it's a lot better, and this is what I'm doing. I want to be better with the walkthroughs. That's why I'm going with these certain games, and that's why I'm taking my time with the newer games that just came out, because I don't want to go in there and just play it without knowing. I mean, some of these other, uh, these YouTubers, you know, kind of like, uh, what was it, Munchin Orange, uh, Marilyn, they probably have the time to do it. They probably know, like, they probably have no problem with, uh, with playing the game blindly and all that stuff, but I kind of do. I kind of need to have the experience first before I go in and just start, you know, doing some stuff, so. Cannot wait to start making these walkthroughs again, guys. I cannot wait to improve on them all. On, uh, on them all. And, uh, well, let's see. I kind of feel like we need to do something right here. You know what? Let's go ahead and head with Hera. I, I have a good feeling about this one. So, once we're about to make the exit in Victory Road, here we have this guy. Hold it! Are you going to take the Pokemon League Challenge? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have these best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Draven, I challenge you. Alrighty. So, he does realize that he lost every single time against me. I just, you know, I'm just putting that out there. I mean, you know, me being the smart ass that I am. So, here we have Silver coming out with his Dark and uh, Ice type Pokemon. And I kind of feel good about this one because I got a Dark and Fire type Pokemon. And he just learned Flamethrower. So, eat this. That's right. Take this L. That's right. And just like that, Sneasel has been defeated. Throwing those middle fingers up at you. Don't give a you-know-what. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with a Golbat. And, well, let's go straight to Chico. Oh, the crap baskets. I should have gone with Fluffolt. Oh, God. I messed up. I got quadruple damage waiting for me. See, this is what happens when, you know, when Draven just talks all his, you know, his smack. So, before we do anything, let's go ahead and body slam this guy. That's right. We're body slamming you. And, oh, nearly defeats him. Holy crud. And there is the confusion. Okay, so that's my cue to exit right there. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go straight to Fluff Volt right here. And here we go. Fluff Volt. How's it going? And here comes that wing attack. So it really thought that I was going to defeat me like that. Okay. Let's go straight for a Thunder Punch. Okay. Oh, wow. Seriously? So, here's another thing, too, guys. So, I've been thinking, and it's kind of a, it's, it's, it's kind of a, well, no, it's not controversial, it's not tough, but I was thinking of actually using Raikou, or Raikou, how I nicknamed him. Yes, I nicknamed Raikou, Raikou, just in honor for you guys who have been critiquing me about the way I said it. So, I was thinking of using him, mainly because we needed a little more speed going into this this Pokemon League challenge, but then I was like, well, I mean, what was the point of trading for Mareep and all that stuff? 
you know, it, it, it is what it is. So I'm going to go with the team that I have right now. And hopefully, just hopefully, this will actually work. And look at that, Torpedo grows level 41. Okay, so let's see, Typhlosion's about to come out, and this kid's like punching the air already. So, let's go with Torpedo. Torpedo, you have been a godsend ever since I traded for you. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get it. And here we go, Surf Attack for the win! And there he goes. Oh, yes. How's it feel to fail? And there we go, Typhlosion has been defeated. I'm feeling good about myself. And there's more points for us right there. Oh, look at that. Holy crap, that is a lot of points for Torpedo. And so he's coming out with a Haunter right here. Let's go back to Hera. So, yeah, we're really not using a lot of Pokemon for this one. And, well... Look at that, Haunter, how's it going? Here we go, Hera gets up. Let's get it, faint attack right here. There it is. Holy crud, Haunter, you have been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And there we go, Torpedo. Getting some more points just because. And he's got one more Pokemon, so let's just continue on right here with Hera. Yeah, this guy's Pokemon is weak to my Hera. I could just use one Pokemon, and that's it. Holy crud, the majority of his Pokemon are weak against my Hera. Holy crud, okay, so I did a good job. I like to thank the, the Pokemon guard Arceus. And look at that, okay, so we have defeated Silver. He's like, I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what the Dragon Master said to me. Really? It took you that long? I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> you keep at it until then. Oh, wow, well, that's the first time he's ever motivated me for anything. Okay, so I'm throwing a middle finger at you. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight to Route 23. Say hello to the Pokemon League, guys. This is what we've been working for, the Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers, the Pokemon League HQ. Okay, so, here we are, guys. We are in the Pokemon League, and uh, there's quite a few things. There's a Pokemon, and there's a Pokemon Center, and there's this guy right here. If you want to teleport back and do a little bit more training, that's the guy to go to with the teleport. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to be going back into the Victory Road to train just a tad bit more, so... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient and for putting up for this long episode. In the next one, we will be taking on the Pokemon League in its entirety. We will be changing up a few moves. We'll be doing a few things. We'll be kick, you know, getting buff and all that stuff. Yeah, we're going to be doing some stuff, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation, click on the heart button right there. Keep this, uh, this, this channel afloat. And yeah, if you guys want to be a member of this channel right here, just click on the join button into my channel and bam, you'll be seeing some exclusive videos. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.